All right, today what I'd like to do is talk about outliers using standard deviations, the last part of objective D. To do this work, I have to understand standard deviations a little bit. So quickly, here's my normal model. And it looks something like this. Whenever I have a normal model, I can use a mean and standard deviation. My mean smack dab in the middle, or at the balancing point. My standard deviations trail up. So one standard deviation, two, three. Then I go backwards, negative one, negative two, and negative three. Remember my sigma means standard deviation. My mu means the mean. <clears throat> I know that. This curve represents 100% of my data. I have about 99.7% of my data between these two, um, three standard deviations away from the mean. So we kind of round up a little bit more and say, well, two and a half standard deviations will probably show me some outliers. So I do two and a half standard deviations this way, up from my mean, and I do two and a half standard deviations how from I mean this way. Anything beyond these points, I'm going to consider to be a standard deviation. I'm sorry, I'm going to consider to be an outlier. So anything out here or out here are my potential outliers. All right, so I already have my mean and standard deviation. So I'm going to use a formula of saying two and a half standard deviations away from the mean. So that's going to be mu minus 2.5 standard deviations. So this is 28.94 minus 2.5 times 31.44. This will give me all my potential outliers. <coughs> when I calculate that out, I get a negative. 49.66. People kind of, oh, negative numbers. It's okay. It just means any number less than negative 49.66 is a potential outlier. I have, so this is, let's say, or smaller. So I have no numbers that are smaller than negative 49.66, so there's no outliers on the downside. On the upside, is going to be mu plus two and a half standard deviation, so 28.94 plus 2.5 times 31.44. That gives me 107.54. 107.54 or greater. So do I have anything? I do. I have one right here. So 118 is greater than 107.54, so I found an outlier. So I'm going to say that. I'm going to say tricky buzzards. Are a potential. Notice I gave the name of it, I gave the units, and I said there are potential outliers. So let's go back. Did I answer both of my questions? Are there any outliers? Check, I did. I said it was turkey vultures. Use the standard deviation from the range. I did that. My ranges are right here and right here. So and that's how you do it.